for joining us today on Around the Peninsula. I'm Maria Soraya. We are here at the Kendida Civic Center as the city of Rancho Palos Verdes continues to celebrate their 50th anniversary. And tonight, through the month of December and January, it's all about the holidays. <laughs> Beginning tonight, we want to invite all of our residents out for skating in the park. And for more on this great event, we're going to go to our resident elf, Emily Rodine. So year two of skating in the park, tell us about the event tonight that starts tonight and how long it lasts. So we're so excited to bring to the community our opening night, which is going to coincide with our Christmas tree lighting. We're really excited about that. Um, we have a lot of great activities going on tonight just because it is our opening night. What I'm really excited to introduce for the first time this year is our inflatable snow globe that about five people will be able to go inside of that and take pictures, a family picture. So that's really cool. We also have an obstacle course. We're giving away um, free cocoa and coffee. We have crafts for kids. Um, and then obviously the skating sessions going on. And obviously we have a great band plan tonight so tonight is really a lot of festivities yes we're all about the holiday spirit here and it's been just a joy doing this all um, tell us what, how people can make reservations and how long this will go on for. Yeah, so the best way, we do highly recommend you get a reservation in advance. Um, you have to go to rpvca.gov slash skate. Okay. And then I know that it, th not next week, but then the following week it will start up again when the kids are out of school. Is that right? Yes, so we're running um, today, December 16th, the 17th and 18th, and then we're taking a break and then we're kicking it off again December 26th and the rink will be open from 1230 to 7 p.m. And then it wraps up January 8th. So basically through December 26th to January 8th, with the exception of New Year's Day, we will be here and ready to welcome everyone. Okay, and I know that you can't do this without your sponsors. Tell me a little bit more about that. Yeah, we were very fortunate. We had so many amazing sponsors this year that it really helps support the rink and make this happen for everyone. So we just can't be more appreciative. And for this special kickoff to the holiday season, we caught up with some of our city leaders who talk about some of their holiday traditions. I'm so happy. I love Christmas. It's just a wonderful time of the year. Everybody's, well, everybody's stressed out somehow. <laughs> but you know, we're all having a good time. Presents and dressing up in our favorite red and green. And it's just, it, this is so much fun. I'm so glad the city is doing this now because it's another great reason to get together. Absolutely. Yeah, year two, and I, I think you're going to see so many people coming out this year, too. Yes, definitely. I brought my girls. I have my granddaughter here. She was here last year and skated, and now she brought a friend, another friend, and they're both going to skate tonight. And they're keeping you so busy. You're in the parade now. You're here. We keep the mayor very busy here, Barbara. <laughs> I've noticed that. Tell us about some of your holiday traditions that you have. Well, we've always hung our stockings. And every year I look at the catalogs and I think, I'm going to get me a new stocking. Because when my kids came along, I got these beautiful needlepoint with their names on it. And then the grandkids came along and I got them beautiful. But you know what I hang? I hang the stocking that my uncle gave me when I was nine years old. And it's it's got my name on it. It's flimsy. It's old. But somehow it just touches my heart, you know, and I can't do a new one with needlepoint and stuff. And But we all have stockings, and for some reason, I bought my husband a stocking when we first got married 46 years ago. It's red, white, and blue. I don't know what I was thinking. And I asked him if he wanted a new stocking, and he said no. He likes the one that he's had all these years to be said for the familiar and the things that we treasure like that so that's yeah. that's amazing yeah and now we even have a little one that we hang for our cat oh, <laughs> yeah well, so it should be a fun event and uh, we will be here when you flip the switch Barbara. okay you're gonna have to help me count down you know if we can start at maybe five and go down we might even do it in Espanol yeah I know I can get from five to one in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about some of your holiday traditions, things you like to do as a family. Oh, thank you. Merry Christmas to you as well, Marie, and to the whole RPV TV family. We have lots of rich traditions in, in our home, but of course, the biggest one is going to Mass Christmas Eve, 
followed by a very robust, very uh, complicated, multi, you know, multi-course meal. So uh, dinner is a big, you know, food and family and faith are big in our family. So we definitely hit that tradition. Then and then on Christmas Day, of course, the kids like to see uh, like to see what Santa brought Absolutely. first thing in the morning. So sometimes that's at 6 a.m. Dad loves that. <laughs> oh, so proud of this tradition that we started last year. This is the second annual skating in the park. We've got our ice. We have uh, the ice out here today and the tree behind uh, the camera here. I hope people come out and enjoy. This is just a spectacular venue as, uh, as we know and I hope people in the community can come out and experience. You can see about a 200 degree view of the area around us including the wonderful Pacific Ocean, Catalina Island and beyond. So. This is just a great venue, good place to be, good place to celebrate the holidays. So, so come, enjoy. A couple traditions. Personal tradition for me is I always watch Chevy Chase's Christmas Vacation. That mo movie really puts me in the spirit, one of the best ever. Um, at our house, actually, uh, I know that some love the traditional tree that's freshly cut and all that, but our house is literally has a number of plastic trees. And we love them because they're all different. You know, of course, we have the big one where we put the angel on top and all of the, our favorite ornaments. But we also have one that's the Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, we have an, a pink, all pink one. Um, and so, and they all have different lights going. And so it really keeps us in the spirit and in holiday spirit. We love Christmas. That's so cool. And then the second year here skating um, in the park. And this event is just so awesome because really, once again, brings out the community to celebrate the holidays. Well, it does. Uh, this actually was when he was mayor, Mayor Alegrilla, had, I had the idea of having the skating and you know, he has, what, four kids and so, um, I think it's a great idea and, and what's great is, and I know you're gonna have some uh, footage of it while I'm probably talking, but the last year they were putting together the rink at the last minute, they were putting the lights on the trees behind me at the last minute. And so, you know, year two, you're no longer, the, the Rec and Park staff is no longer rookies of putting this together. So they, the trees look great. We're gonna light the Christmas tree and the tree looks taller this year. The ice rink itself is awesome and it has beautiful lights around it. Um, I think it's gonna be a real treat for our residents. It's really one of the best Rec and Park departments anywhere too. Oh, absolutely. I mean, every time you task them to do something, it's always all hands on deck. They get out here and they do the things that just make all of our holidays special. And so we really appreciate them. And especially with the 50th anniversary, this is another event celebrating for the city of Rancho Palos Verdes. That's right. I mean, 50 years and every month we're going to be doing something special. And so we're kicking it off here this holiday season with a little bit of ice skating. So come on out, everyone, and do some ice skating. You probably won't see me out there because I'm not so coordinated, but the rest of you are. So uh, come on out. I love baking and um, it's a great way for me to release my stress and kind of zone out. But um, I really love what I love about the holidays is actually giving things um, it, it, to others and making and just simple things and and seeing people's reaction to it. Um, just saying hi to somebody or wishing someone a happy holidays, it just changes someone's mindset and, and makes someone stay. And just seeing that smile on their face is very special to me. You know, I think it's interesting you say that because it's the one time of the year when we really go out of our way to do that. You know? It's so important. I mean, there's so much um, heartache and struggle out there and, and to actually extend a hand to somebody and help somebody out in any little gesture, it just makes such a difference. As our city manager, this event this year is picture perfect. It is. It's, it's a spectacular setting right now. Um, it only gets better. I mean, this is our second year. Last year was the first and, and we said we were determined that we're going to make this a tradition and I'm so glad to see that we're here for the second year in a row. We learned some great lessons last year on how to make things better and I, I think um, what we have tonight here is a reflection of, of our commitment to providing special events to the community. Are we going to see you out there skating? You may. Okay. 
You may. I, you know, I'm always up for a challenge. Are you going to challenge me? Absolutely. I, I think so. I'm, and it's going to be here all month long. And and so we. I want to just encourage um, our residents to come out, uh, come to the Civic Center, come experience uh, what we are offering to the community here at this spectacular site. You can come skating during the day. You can come skating in the evening. Come during the sunset. It's just one. It wasn't the sunset this evening. It was just stunning. And the tree, the way. Um, it's decorated. It's just a very elegant and fitting setting um, to be here on the edge of the coast. I like getting together with family. Me too. What about you? Definitely getting together with family, but I like the pre-Christmas activities. Putting together the fun nativity scene. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, the Christmas lights, the Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then what now? Do you guys celebrate the night before? How do you guys celebrate? We do Christmas Eve, yeah, and then we also open up the presents on Christmas Day. Okay. So we do a little bit of both. Yeah. Very nice. And then of course you can enjoy all of Christmas Day just by hanging out with the family, playing with stuff, and just enjoying the day. Yep, that's right. Yeah. So, so what are we? Where are we going to be for Christmas Eve? Whose house are we? We're going to be at Nana's house. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Yep. And then Christmas Day we'll be at um, Abuelitos. Oh. Okay. Okay, now do you guys have like a Christmas and any kind of food that you like to have? Like, what's your favorite? Cinnamon rolls. Ooh. <laughs> I'm coming over to your house. And we have tamales, so we like to make them as a family and, yeah. and eat them as a family. Cool. Yep. Well, Merry Christmas. You guys have a good time, and thanks for spending a few minutes with us. Thank, Thank you. you. Merry Thank Christmas. You. Merry Christmas. And the star of the show tonight, well, it's the lighting of the holiday tree. This wonderful event would not be possible without the support of the mayor, the city council. Uh, their support is, is never ending, and we just continue to do things like this for the community, and uh, we love it. Um, I know the council loves it, and so it's a, it, I, I appreciate you all being here. Uh, right now, I'd like to uh, uh, welcome Mayor Ferraro to say a few words, but also say thank you again for your support. And uh, love it. Let's get this going. All right. Yeah. Good evening, everyone. Merry oh. Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy holidays. And I'm so glad to see all these kids here. <laughs> and some of them I've already recruited to help me. But first, <laughs> I, you know, they said say a few words. Well, you know how it is with elected officials all right elected. our plot our platinum level sponsors are Terranea and Woo. edco we Woo. love them Woo. yes Woo. our gold edco. sponsors are From? alshar and winder our winder our <laughs> city attorney and trump national golf club our silver level sponsors are sunbeam solar technology cox communications MSW Consultants, and John L. Hunter and & Associates. And, oh, that's NPDES Stormwater people. And our Bronze Level Green Hills Memorial Park, West Coast Arborist, and Pacific Line Electric. Excuse me while I go to page two. <laughs> They've written this all out for me, you know. I would also like to acknowledge the efforts of all the city, city staff. I got to go to the luncheon with them the other day. You know, it's really our staff that makes this city work. And we have our city manager here. We have our deputy city manager here somewhere. There she is. And Corey, our director of Park and Rec. And Dan, our deputy director of Park and Rec. And Emily who's been out here watching everybody put all this stuff up. So we we really appreciate the staff. And then, of course, I have my wonderful city council over here. Our immediate past mayor, Dave Bradley, wave. Uh, Councilman John Brookshake, who is our mayor pro tem now. And Councilman Alegria. Yay! And we have one missing, but I'm sure he wishes you all a happy holidays, too. <laughs> And now it's going to be my pleasure to officially. Are you ready? Hey kids. Woohoo! Kayla, are you ready? You ready? Where's Mateo? All right. You're here. Hey Max, you're here, right? Can you all count? Do you know how to count? 
right now. Do you know how to count backwards? Three, two, one. In our family, we always have a tradition of a big uh, Christmas Eve uh, dinner, and we open presents, and uh, my family comes over, my wife's family comes over. Um, one of the things that we've always done is Christmas is always at our house. So uh, just because Santa only knows where to come, so we don't want him to get confused. So uh, both my sons are home from college. Uh, the youngest one just got home on uh, Wednesday. Um, and they're really looking forward to being home for a couple weeks. Um, mom's cooking and the, uh, the um, pantry that's never empty. They're both living in apartments by them, uh, with roommates uh, at college. So they, uh, they're uh, really thankful for a full, fully stocked refrigerator and a fully stocked pantry. But we took some lessons learned from last year, setting up the skating rink, where to set it up, how to set it up. Um, I think it is much improved from last year. Uh, we have a fantastic uh, holiday tree here. Uh, the uh, palm trees are decorated uh, like you would expect for, uh, for Southern California. So it's a beautiful Southern California uh, holiday event. And it's always fun to catch up with some of our residents who are here to kick off the holiday season. How long have you lived here in Rancho Palos Verdes? Uh, 19 years because uh, going on 20 soon. My son was born and I think he was six weeks old and we decided to move here. And he's 19 now, he's here and going on 20. Cannot make a better decision than this. Love it. You know what, what is so special about this city that you love so much? Uh, it's the nature, the bliss, the blues, the greens, the people. It's just like home away from home. You, you have a home, but when you step out on the streets, in the parks, everywhere, people just know you by your name. So I have three kids. They all went to local schools here, best schools in the district, and amazing, amazing. Every family member, whoever had kids in the school, are like a neighbor to us now because they know us by our first names. And Trader Joe's, be it Ralph, be it anywhere. <laughs> And then, of course, coming to this event tonight is so special, it kind of kicks off the holidays. Yes, and this is a great start, you know, just the term tree lighting brings a smile on your face. You become a kid again, and this is exactly walking distance from my house, so I could have actually walked. We are right off Hawthorne and Valen and uh, amazing turnout. Uh, I missed the first one we were traveling, but this one I made sure we are here. And thanks to our HOA president, uh, Marie Chura, she's the one who told me about this. Nice. Yeah, so the, the La Cresta community. Very nice. Well, enjoy the holidays, and thank you for spending a few minutes with us. Thank you so much. Happy holidays. Keep smiling. Be positive, and God bless you all. And remember, go to the RPV website at rpvca.gov where you can book your reservation for skating in the park. And that will do it for today's show. Thank you so much for watching. And on behalf of the entire RPV TV crew, we want to wish you a very happy holiday. I'm Maria Soreo, and we'll see you in 2023.